Every material, whatever analog or digital, must be activated by the filmmaker. Whether I work with my own material or with fun footage, I need to become acquainted with it. And through different, not fully conscious processes, I can either accept the material or not. But that is not so much about the material or the picture carrier, but more importantly that the sequences and the elements of the film themselves are to be considered as material and not as something finished. There is that beautiful conversation between Dura and Godard where she says making film she has to make an effort to make it unfinished and Godard answers if I finish a film it is already taken apart during the last 10 years and through the digitalization process and the fact that you can feed your computer with images of course, they don't need images, but only their data, but still they need to know that this data is actually referring to an image. Through that process, however, new types of images have appeared, such as the thermomechanical image of a certain region in which you can find certain hints that can lead you to certain assumptions. These two types of images are something visual, but they are entirely different from our general visual culture. Our visual culture is based on the production of images for education or entertainment, but these new types of images are not meant to be looked at, but rather technical tools, that is, operative operative character of these images. So, so all of the sudden science and technology are interested in these new types of images that we separated during the last hundred years. In the early era of photography and film this was different, of course. Back then photography and film still had a part in scientific research. But soon they became illustrative material and entertainment material. So I think that we can speak of a rematerialization nowadays. I think that the image has reclaimed a serious working day. It's not just a weakened pleasure. It is no longer an old slow horse anymore, but rather like a drayman's horse. Well, with the automatically generated images created technically produced history? That is a good question. 
the idea that everything is registered and visually recorded and that the monitoring cameras that function in a completely anti-narrative way because they do neither condense time nor space as they are unable to do close-ups or cuts the idea that this anti-narrative material can be misread by its being edited or brought into a readable order by Gustav Mahler because this music works so well in the movies by editing these images and using that music he gave a tragic atmosphere to some highway in Hamburg and to the operational cameras material with the raindrops on the lens this film really impressed me a lot because here I could clearly see the interface between our Antiquated historiography and a new technical one. Also, da, da war ich so fast. Die Schnittstelle zwischen äh, altmodischer, archaischer Geschichtsproduktion und, äh, und der, äh, der, der technischen Geschichtsproduktion, ja. Thank <laughs> you.